You're listening to the Astromami newsletter read aloud version of my daily horoscope published on Substack. If you would like to read this, please click on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is the daily horoscope. Dark days ahead. Grab your astrology flashlight. Moon in Pisces and Mercury trine Pluto, plus a look at the future by looking at the past. Daily Horoscope for Thursday, October 6, 2022. Welcome to the Astromami Newsletter, a daily horoscope that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The Astromami Newsletter is a reader-supported publication, meaning it only thrives thanks to the generous support of lovely people just like you. The two best ways you can support my work are to share this newsletter with a friend and to consider upgrading to a paid subscription. Whether you're a first-time reader or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in my community. I hope you enjoyed today's horoscope and card reading. Blessings. Good morning, friends. Now is a great time to get a natal chart reading. Why? Because we are about to be tested like never before. And understanding your own destiny and what you came here to do is more important than ever. Click on the book a reading or the new client to reading special to make your appointment. If you need a different time than what is on my auto scheduler, email me at astromommyastrology at gmail.com or reply to this newsletter and we can find a time that works for you. We have some dark days ahead. Astrology is our flashlight. It can help us be prepared and understand what our personal strengths are going forward. Okay, let's get into the astrology. I want to start out today's horoscope with a song that popped into my head when I was reviewing the transits of this next week and next six months. Rhythm Nation by Janet Jackson. I will put the link here in the newsletter and the lyrics at the bottom, and I encourage you to go and listen to this song after the horoscope. The verse that I want to highlight is the second verse and chorus that read, and I'll try to read this without singing. This is the test. No struggle, no progress. Lend. Lend a hand to help your brother do its best. Things are getting worse. We have to make them better. It's time to give a damn. Let's work together. Come on, yeah. People of the world today, are we looking for a better way of life? Say, we are a part of the rhythm nation. People of the world unite. Strength in numbers, we can get it right one time. We are a part of the rhythm nation. That was really hard not to sing. (laughs) Looking ahead at the astrology of the next six months after Pluto goes direct this weekend, we are about to be tested like never before. These last few days are very important. My teacher David Palmer just reviewed in his weekly astrology report the astrological transits the last time that Pluto was stationed direct in Capricorn and about to ingress into Aquarius, which actually was October 8th, 1776. And Pluto stationed direct at 25 degrees 58 minutes, very close to the 26 degrees 6 minutes that Pluto will station direct on Saturday. This was all during the American Revolution. Things got worse during that time, and America had to ask for help from France, which was a very important alliance. It wasn't until Pluto reached the first 5 degrees of Aquarius that America won the war in 1781. Fighting officially ended in 1783, but America had already won their independence two years prior. This is an important time in history to review because we are going to see a lot of similarities with our own timeline right now. The main message that I heard in his report was that it is going to get worse before it gets better, and it's important that we all band together, keep each other's morale up, keep our faith, and stay hopeful. There may be very dark and trying times ahead, but if we don't give up, we will be victorious. Pluto and Capricorn is about making our way up the mountain, even as structures crumble at our sides. The last part of the ascent is the hardest because we're tired. We want to give up and it's easy to lose our footing and slide backward. It reminds me of transition and childbirth, the last stage before the pushing stage. We don't want to do it anymore. We want the labor to be over. We're tired. We may throw up, poop a little, and get scared. It feels like we are going to die as we literally crack open and bring forth this amazing new life that we've been carrying inside ourselves. We are in a major transition as a world. We will make it through. We will push this baby out and hear it cry and feel the waves of love like never before. But we can't give up. And with all the influences from Neptune right now, again, it reminds me of transition and childbirth because that's the most common time that women ask for drugs. No shame here, but it's a good metaphor. Because they don't believe they can take the pain anymore. But metaphorically, this is not the time to escape from the pain and check out. 
Neptune wants to drug us up with social media, fentanyl, painkillers, pornography, anything that people get addicted to and do over and over to escape their life. Neptune wants us to fall asleep in the field of poppies, like in The Wizard of Oz, and forget our missions, forget our purpose. What does Dorothy do, though? She wakes up and remembers. Astrology is here to help us remember who we are and why we are here. Let's talk about today. The moon has her ingress into Pisces at 8.46 a.m. Eastern Time. This will give us the ability to tap into our intuition and feel the energies around us. This can be a beautiful and helpful energy if we allow ourselves to feel creatively inspired by this watery moon instead of being swept away and lost in it. With this energy, we can see through the manipulations of what we are being blinded by. We are able to bless those weird energies and forgive them because that is one of the gifts of Pisces, incredible compassion. Even though we can forgive the strange forces in our world that are trying to control us, we do not need to let them. We can establish healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries are one of the biggest lessons for Piscean energy, but they are really important. Pisces is a water sign, and water takes the shapes of its containers, so boundaries are extremely important, otherwise we spill out and around everything and everyone, and we don't know where we are and where everyone else begins. Mercury is now at 26 degrees of Virgo, so he is off the opposition to Neptune by 3 degrees, but he is making a trine to Pluto, which will be exact late tonight at 11.55 p.m. Eastern Time, so this trine will spill over into Friday and the weekend. Thankfully, since the opposition to Neptune is now over, our heads may become a bit clearer. This is good. This means we can really start to get the things done that we need to get done, and there may be things that have piled up and need tending to. Don't procrastinate. Busy work is our friend right now. Cleaning, meal planning, and prepping. Paperwork, filing, sorting, etc. This is the perfect time for that fall cleaning you've been meaning to get to. This is the third time that Mercury has made a trine to Pluto during the most recent retrograde, and so it's almost like the messenger god Mercury has been collecting data as he's been talking to the Sun and Venus and has been giving Pluto little updates and reports. Now that Pluto is about to station direct on Saturday, we will begin to find out what all the secret keeping has been about. We may start to hear things in the news or even in our own family units, little bits and pieces of information that are like little tells, like in the game Clue, when people let slip tiny bits of information that give away the cards they have. If you're not paying attention during the game, you will miss these moments, and if you fail to write them down on your paper, you may forget what you heard. So it's really important to pay attention and make note of what you hear, see, and observe right now. These tells will be invaluable to you later when Pluto is moving direct. Mars in Gemini is slowing way down, getting ready for his station retrograde at the end of October. He is only moving 17 minutes of arc per day, and by tonight will only be 1 degree and 29 minutes away from the exact square to Neptune. So this is a good time to understand what you're doing in reality and not let yourself get lost in delusions or escape into things that do not help you achieve your goals. It's important to continue to do the little things that seem boring and mundane, but that add up to something big and beautiful. Procrastination is not our friend right now, and neither is escapism, nihilism, or belligerence. My father, Dennis McNeil, who's been an astrologer longer than I've been alive, told me that Mars-Neptune transits are when you see the bars fill up and the drunk start fights. So be careful careful when you're out and about. He also said another thing to be aware of is our health and that these two energies together can bring on fevers, illness, debilitation, vulnerability, and a sense of physical weakness or drained energy. With Mars and Gemini, there could be stuff going around your neighborhood or your family, so it's important to boost your immune system at this time. As I am writing this, my husband is sick in bed with a fever. You can't make this stuff up. This is a normal time of year for things to start going around, but our health is especially important with this Mars square Neptune transit. Let's move on to the goddess amulet for the day. What is our guidance for Thursday? Whirlwinds, trusting the invisible. On this goddess amulet, we see a whirling design that looks like five tendrils of wind or water going around in a circle like an endless wave. In the middle, there is a double axe symbolizing a butterfly surrounded by a pentagon. This image is from a Minoan pottery dish dating back to 5000 BCE. The butterfly is a symbol of rebirth and renewal, power held in the hands of the goddess and her priestesses who performed healing magic in the realm of the invisible. The whirlwinds amulet represents motion, transformation, transition, and invisible change. I feel that this amulet is reminding us that even if we don't see visible change occurring, whatever we are doing is making waves in our environment. 
Whatever thoughts we've had or words we have actually spoken are busy being manifested like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. Change is happening. We just can't see into our own cocoons. So it's important to remember that everything takes time and has a gestational period. One of my favorite lines from the accompanying book to these amulets says, quote, you may be used to wanting and expecting immediate results and gratification, but you can't expect to pick fruit the day you plant the tree, unquote. I would love to know if this amulet resonates with you. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mummy. Today's horoscope was brought to you by Pluto and Capricorn, the Moon and Pisces, Mercury trying Pluto, and Mars square Neptune. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Click on New Client to Reading Special, Book a Reading, Chat with me on social media, Family Etsy Shop, Astro Mommy YouTube channel at the bottom of the newsletter. You can also watch Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. And I have also included the lyrics to this song. Today's amulet was pulled from the Amulets of the Goddess, Oracle of Ancient Wisdom, Amulets and Book Set by Nancy Blair, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletter, I will make a small commission, but there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in any of myself. Thanks for listening.